Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, I just did that video the other day of the air compressor messing up on me and I couldn't get it back fixed, so I bought another one. And of all things, now the plasma burn up on me. <laughs> just a couple days later, man, I don't know. I've been having stuff go down left and right. And so the plasma's down. Let me show you what I got. It's the HTP. I don't know what's wrong with this sucker. I, I, I'm assuming, and we're talking to the people at the welding shop and this and that, it's probably the board inside there. That sucker quit cutting and went to smoking. I mean, it was smoking pretty good out of the front there. And you could burn it, so I shut it down. I'm gonna try to send it back to um, HTP. Hopefully I can get it fixed. But I couldn't afford to be down. Really didn't need to be down yesterday while I was out trying to buy this one. So I went and got this plasma color. This is the titanium one from Harbor Freight. I hadn't even had it on yet. <laughs> See what we got. It's gonna be running on 220. I don't even know how you turn this sucker on. Well, there she goes. And we fixed to find out what this thing will do. Um, I had never used one. Hopefully, this thing can keep up with what I'm doing. I'm not sure. I see a lot of stuff is different on it than the HTP. This is where it stopped working it on me yesterday. So I'm gonna try to jump back in right there. This one has a different drag cap, cap on it, but it looks like if I turn that drag cap a certain way that I can still use the same offset that I was using before on the other one. So anyway, I'm gonna jump back to it, get this cut up, and then I gotta get to the steel yard and get some more steel. And uh, see what this thing does. Hopefully it does just as well as the other one. The HDP is a, it was an awesome machine. I mean, it's only been about two and a half years. I don't know why that thing burned up. I'm sure it's got, it's probably got over 300 hours on it. Probably a lot more than that, honestly. I've done a ton of cutting with that thing. But anyway, hopefully we'll get it fixed and uh, get back going with it. And then I guess I just have two of them. I just couldn't afford to be down without plasma. I got, I, there's so much stuff that I cut with plasma now that you can't cut with a torch. Like cutting uh, cutting vents and stuff that I do. When I do them double, you can't do that with a torch because the torch is going to heat the top piece. It's not going to heat that bottom piece. You'd have to drill a pilot hole so you catch both pieces at the side and all that. And it's just a pain with the plasma. It's going to blow straight through them as long as it's not too thick, you know. So let's get to cutting on this, see what this machine does, and I'll let you know what I think about it.
All right, y'all, my first thoughts on it. Well, I've been cutting on it a couple days now, cutting with it. It seems to be a good machine. I mean, I've done quite a bit of cutting with it. Um, it's it's different stuff than what the HTP one is, like this drag cap. I thought I would be able to turn that on there and use it to get the same offset that I had on that one, the 3 16th offset, but that don't work at all because you have to turn it like that and it drags. It drags bad coming like that real jagged and stuff it's supposed to go like that but when you turn it like that it's a half inch out offset so it's not bad when i'm doing um when i'm just uh doing straight lines and stuff but i have a lot of templates that have been cut to uh make up for that 3 16 offset so i'm gonna have to do something about that but i did have uh i talked to the people at hcp i want to send that i got to get it boxed up and send it back to them and they're gonna get it fixed for me so hopefully that won't be too long i'm gonna try to get it boxed up this weekend and uh, hopefully I'll be back on that one. It is, in my opinion, I, I don't see anything wrong with this titanium machine. It seems to be a good machine. The HTP is better. <laughs> I mean, that's just my opinion. It's a bigger machine, though. It's blowing through harder. Uh, the only thing I noticed is that when I'm using these uh, the circle burner on there, I had to modify it some. I made it to go on that HTP one. It's actually a, started as a circle burner for a torch. But... Uh, when it's on here, you can't leave that drag cap on there. It messes, it gets it way too high. But it seems like it's not getting enough force to blow through straight. Cause it seems like, it really seems like I'm holding that sucker straight and it's still blowing in at a bevel. So it makes it harder to knock it out of there and stuff like that. So I noticed that, um, really other than that, I mean, it's, it's burning consum consumables. I've already had to change the uh, electrode in there I've done a lot of cutting, but I shouldn't be, have to change that electrode already. And it's the same air setup as I had before. The same filters and everything. It looks like you get a lot more life out of those HTP ones. I get a lot of cutting out of those. As long as I keep the water out of them and everything, I get a lot of cutting out of them. It did shut down on me one time, and I got worried about the work duty cycle, but it was a code saying that the, the, the tip was clogged up. So I just changed that out and it came right back on. The sucker's been cutting, man. If you're in the market for one, I mean, it might not be bad. If you're in the market for a big one, the HTP one's gonna be a better one, but in my opinion. Plus that one's set up to run a CNC too. So of course it's gonna be a bigger machine. But anyway, that'll do it on this video. I gotta get this thing back going. I hear the thunder rumbling. I think the rain's coming. But uh, I gotta get this thing in there and get back to work. So once I get the HTP back, we'll do a video on it and get it back running and everything. And then I'll have the titanium as a backup. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.